Hi family, welcome back to our channel. Prophetess Nikki here. I am so excited and I'm so grateful that I get to come back into your lives today to encourage you one more time, one more day towards your journey to greatness. I love all of you so much. I am so grateful to God for what you all do on a daily basis to help bring glory to God's channel here. I am standing in the gap for you. I am praying for you. Don't ever forget that family of God. I am praying for you. You know, sometimes we ask people to pray for us and sometimes life happens. So I am praying for you. You are my family. I love you. God bless all of you. I pray that God's face will always shine upon each and every one of you. May the Lord continue to bless you and may the Lord prosper all of you in every area of your life. Listen, family, I want you to understand why your prayers are not being answered. I want you to understand why your blessings may be hindered, family of God. There is a reason. Always remember, we have to rule ourselves out first. I want to talk to you, family of God. And this family, listen, it's very important. I talk to so many people from so many cultures and so many ethnicities from all over the world. I am so fortunate. Glory to God. And people always ask, why aren't my prayers being answered? What is going on with my blessing? I am doing the right thing. I want to talk to you, glory to God, about a few things that might be possible as to why your blessings have been blocked, why your blessings and your prayers might be hindered, family of God. If you have a pen, go get a pen. Write this information down, family of God, because it is vital to your transformation. It is vital towards your journey to God. Listen, number one, I want you to realize that unconfessed sin, it may be an issue as to why your prayers are not being answered, family of God. Unforgiveness in our heart. My God, God talks about this in Isaiah 59 and Mark 11 and 25, we cannot stand before God with unforgiveness and unconfessed sin in our heart family of God, because this is going to cause the prayers to be not answered. It's going to cause God not to even answer your prayer. It's going to cause God to hold up your blessing family of God, because we have to get ourselves in order. Doubt and unbelief doubt and lack of belief in God and who he say he is and what he is capable of doing for us will cause our prayers to be hindered. I know family of God, sometimes glory to God. You may feel like it's somebody else's issue as to why your prayers may be not answered, family of God. But I want you to go down the line. I want you to reevaluate yourself, family of God. Unforgiveness, family of God. Unconfessed sin. Doubt and lack of belief. Wrong motives. How about that? Glory to God. When we pray, when we stand praying to the Father, we cannot have wrong motives, family of God. You cannot want something for the wrong reason. It is a dangerous thing, glory to God, to do the right thing for the wrong reason. God knows the intents of our heart, family of God. God searches our hearts when we pray. What does that mean? He is searching. Why are you asking, Nikki? Why do you want this? Glory to God. He wants to know, is our heart in the right place. God wants to know tonight, are your intentions in the right place? Are your motives in the right place? Child of God, God wants us to understand even our negative attitude, family of God, that may that we might have toward other people, it will hinder your prayer. Did you know that? Selfishness, my God, praying with the wrong intention, praying with the wrong motive, glory to God, will cause God to hold up your blessing. It will cause your prayers to be hindered, family of God. God searches the heart of man. Did you know that? And he knows why we really want what we're asking for. You cannot want God to bless you to show your adversary. Glory to God. No, family of God. You have to want God to bless you, to prosper you, so that you can 
even be a blessing to somebody else, family of God. This, these things will cause your prayer life to be hindered. Glory to God. And I can tell you from my own personal life, God has answered in my own prayer life. He has answered me no. He has answered me yes. And God has answered me not now, family of God. We got to come to a place, children of God, in God, where we realize that his plans are far better than the plans that we have for ourselves, family of God. In Psalm 68, 66, 18, I think it is, God says that I have cherished iniquity in my heart. Listen what the word of God said. If I had cherished iniquity, if that's a condition, listen, family of God, that is a condition. If I had cherished iniquity in my heart, the Lord would not have listened Oh, glory to God. Did you hear that, family of God? If we, as a people, have cherished iniquity in our heart, the Lord would not have, oh, hallelujah, he would not have listened to us, family of God. This is the most definitely, listen, this is one of the most definite reasons. It is. This is most definitely one of the main reasons, family, that God doesn't answer our prayers. Did you know that? See, God requires 100%, not one. He requires 100% total trust and God requires 100% total belief in what? In his word. Because he is the word, people of God. When we question his word, you know what that means to God? Oh my God, God gets offended by that family of God. When we question his word, it's as if we are calling God a liar, family of God. It is as if we are telling God you are not who you say you are and you are not capable of doing the things that we are asking you to do. Have faith in God. Have trust in God. So how do we respond, family of God? We are going to respond by trusting in our God. We are going to respond by relying on God. Glory to God. And you know what else we are going to do by faith? We are going to mix our prayer with our fasting. Because the word of God tells us some things are going to come by fasting in our prayer. Did you know that family of God? Some things you're not going to get just through prayer. Some things you're not going to get just through your supplication. No. Some things we're not going going to get by even the sacrificial seeds and offering that we are giving and that we are doing. We got to do all that. Plus we must fast and we must pray family of God. Yes. This is why we got to learn to pray according to his will, not our will family of God. We must pray. We must learn the scripture. We must learn the word of God because the word of God is his will. We have to learn to discipline ourselves and pray the word of God because the word of God is his will, family of God. This is why you got to learn how to pray his will, my God, so you don't feel ignored by God. So when God doesn't answer you like you want him to answer you, so when you don't feel like God, is ignoring you. So when God does not do what you want what you want him to do, when you want him to do it, family of God, you won't feel ignored. You won't get offended by God. These are all tactics of the enemy. Learn to pray the will of God. Learn to pray the word of God because in the word of God is his will. I want you to remember this family of God. It's a dangerous thing to do the right thing for the wrong reason. Did you hear me? It is a dangerous thing for us as his children to do the right thing for the wrong reason, family of God. The word of God tells us, my God, to delight ourselves in the Lord. Delight yourself in the Lord. Not in the pleasures of this world, not in people, not in man, not in possessions. No, God tells us to delight ourselves in the Lord. Why? Because when we delight ourselves in the Lord, he is going to give you what? He's going to give you the desires of your heart, family of God. You have to believe the word of God. It is true. It is a tactic of the enemy to make you believe that God is a liar, that God would not come through for you. The enemy wants you to believe that the word of God is not true. The devil is a liar. Shut down your ear gate, family of God, to the lies of the enemy. Glory to God. Learn to pray the word of God and pray. Pray it. 
because it's God's will. Yes. Some of these things right now, if you are going through these unaware, check yourself, family of God, because these things will hinder your prayers from being answered from God. Yes. It will hinder your blessings, family of God. Unconfessed sin. Go read it in Isaiah 59, 1 and 2, family of God. Go read it. Glory to God. Go read Mark 11 and 25, James 1, 6 through 8. Glory to God. Unforgiveness, doubt, and lack of belief in God. Having the wrong motives, a negative attitude, family. That we may have towards somebody else. No. When we stand praying to the Father. We must stand in forgiveness. We must stand forgiving. Don't have a negative attitude toward anybody. Don't be selfish in your prayers. Pray with the right motive. Pray with the right intentions. Because you have a holy God. God is sitting there. He's searching us. Yes. What is he searching? He's searching our heart. Family of God. God is searching our hearts. That's what the word says. God searches the heart of man. He knows why. He knows why, family, why you want what you want. He knows why you're asking him. God is faithful. God is true. Yes, he is. You rely on your father. You trust in God. You trust in the word of God. God will never fail you. The word of God will never fail. The word of God said God looks over his word. He hovers, glory to God, over his word to perform it. And he's going to complete it. Yes, he is. He's going to make all things new in your life, family of God. You want your prayers answered? You want the blessing that God has for you? Make sure none of these six things are in your heart. Family of God, release unforgiveness. Release it, family of God. You have any unconfessed sin in your life? Confess it. Open confession is good for the soul, family of God. Doubt and lack of belief will hinder God. No, God tells us we must believe that he is, that he's a rewarder of those who diligently seek him, family of God. Have the right motives when you're asking God. Go, go to God naked and not ashamed. He knows what you want anyway. He knows why you want it, family of God. But we must check ourselves. Glory to God. Have a right attitude toward people, family of God. God loves us. God loves all people, family of God. And we must be the same. Glory to God. Don't allow any of these things to hinder your prayers from being answered. Don't allow any of these things to hinder your blessings from coming through. God has things for you. You have people to see. You have a destiny to complete. You have purpose written all over your life. You have a divine assignment, but you always remember that there is a evil assignment against your assignment. There is an assignment from the enemy against your assignment, family of God. When you don't know what to do, you stand. Glory to God. I decree and declare today in the name of the Lord that you will rely and trust on God for the rest of your life. That you will pick up the word of God. Hallelujah. To the Lamb of God. You will read it. You will meditate on it. Glory to God. You will make it applicable to your life, family of God. I love y'all so much. God bless you. Glory to God. Thank you for everything that you're doing on a daily basis. Listen, family, don't you dare get scammed on this channel. Do not get scammed. Don't you follow my icon, my picture icon anywhere else, nowhere else, family of God, except here. I love you. We're going to talk later. If it be the will of the Lord, God bless you. Stay encouraged in the Lord. Stay encouraged in the Lord. Stay encouraged. Stay encouraged. Stay encouraged in the Lord. Trust God because he can be trusted. Glory to God. I love you until next time. Bye-bye.